when Dell asked me to try out one of their workstations for editing video, I told them I would, but they would have to understand that I am a hardcore Mac user and that I really don't like Windows. And so, uh, and I had to be honest about that. And they were good with that, which made me think, they've got some good confidence here. They must have a pretty good product. I knew they had a good product uh, because I have used Dells for many years in the past when I used to be a PC user. I used Dells at the University of North Carolina. I used it at Duke Hospital. And I liked them then. They were very reliable. So I thought, well, I'm using Adobe Premiere. I know the NVIDIA cards that are in the Dells were awesome for processing the video, so I thought I'd give it a try. And I have to say that if somebody asked me what they should get, I would say consider one of these Dell workstations. I have the M6600 uh, mobile laptop. It's a 17 inch machine. It's got a beautiful display. Uh, it's 17 inches, something you can't get on an Apple now on a MacBook Pro. You can only get the 15 inch. And it's got SATA ports, it's got USB 3 ports, it's got uh, several ways to monitor different outputs. And it's super fast. You know, that's it, it, it's super fast and it's very interoperable between my Mac. So I've been editing on the on the PC and switching back and forth to the Mac and it's been pretty seamless. Um, there's not a great way to share huge files without disconnecting uh, SATA drive or a USB 3 drive, which frankly doesn't even work on the Mac Pro right now. So I've been going from eSATA to eSATA, which is not the fastest, but at least the Dell has a native eSATA port, and uh, that's really been the only limitation. And I really can't say the limitation has been on the Dell side, it's been on the Mac side. So I really like the machine. Six months ago, if you'd asked me if you should use our Mac or a PC to edit video, I would have said Mac. But things have changed. Apple doesn't seem to care quite as much about uh, the professional video editor as they used to. At least when they came out with FCPX, a lot of the pro features were not there, especially on the hardware side. And frankly, Premiere just takes in the video quicker from my DSLR cameras. And it takes all kinds of different formats on the timeline really easily and quickly. So I'd say for me right now it has an edge. Sure it's it's running Windows. I'm not real crazy about Windows. Uh, but with the way things sync on the cloud these days with the products I use most of my data is easy to get to uh, from whatever device I'm using. So it's all right there on the Dell and it's pretty seamless. One thing that I really appreciate is how Dell is treating video editors like me. They are treating us like they really care about us as customers. They are listening to us. They're working with Adobe and Nvidia. They seem to be truly considering us a, a real customer target where not uh, other, other groups are not necessarily doing that anymore. And, uh, and uh, one, one manufacturer in particular. And uh, so I think that, that it really makes a difference when you have a manufacturer who is paying attention to what you want because as, as customers, that's what we want.